Hey what's up guys, RubyCubeNMV here and I'm back with another video and another series so welcome to the new series second hand superheroes now this is going to include used cars I can buy for an absolute bargain price and this is going to be using my computer macbook and this is going to be on auto trader looking at some cars cheap cars kind of cheap and expensive cars so like cheap outright cars is what we're going to be looking at today let's get right on with it right so if you're thinking i'm cheating i have set the max buyout or like the max like price to 500 quid and first thing now we have got the legendary p3 civic type r this isn't a type r but these things are absolute bargains if you go and watch car throttles video which will be in the link in the description um for these honda civics are really cheap and this is one of the cars that i think are really inspiring to like cheap kind of like bargain cars that you can kind of buy for that kind of price now i am just going to be looking around for like cheap cars so i can get more in so i'm going to get more um should we say better at this ser uh, um, series as we go along this series is there's going to be about 15 episodes uh, on cheap car second hand superheroes thing yep we have a mini hatch yep this is the bargain hatch for people under 500 quid 400 quid for this i can't complain at all um right this has like it like what do you need the base one in this um like 2001 this is um in 2001 if you're going to buy one of these mini hatches um it would be about um it is um these were probably about eight grand brand new and for eight grand you would have got a really nice kind of like driver assorted kind of like the dial in the middle and twin airbags and side airbags if you have a look at that little label there um yeah now you're wondering why i'm doing this on a hot day it's because I was like, I'm so energetic for a new series, and I was like, I'm going to do something I'm experienced on, because I know, like, I'm into my cars, so, yeah. Peugeot 206 CC. This, if you don't know what CC, it means cross cabriolet. Uh, so, it's yeah, that's convertible roof, I'm just saying. I think there should be a picture with the roof off. No, there isn't. But that does come off it's not just in fact does it stand for coupe cabriolet because i'm not sure whether it does is it it's either cross cabriolet um and or uh coupe cabriolet N right so let's um now you're gonna go to my fiat yeah a fiat what any to 500 quid now these fiat puntos let's go for a grande punto then these things are like really 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 good like look 300 quid i know it's cat c but who gives a damn 100 what that's a lot Hundred and twenty-one thousand miles to put that into comparison that's only six years older than um the s max this there's not going to be any updates on that soon go and check it out though um go and watch my review in it that the s max is 2013 to put this into context this is only six years older this is on a 2007 this has done triple the mileage so it's that it's done about forty two thousand miles. Well, I'm not sure how many miles it's done actually. I think it's something like fifty thousand. Last time I checked, it was on fifty two thousand or something like that. There's a ripped up sofa. 
is that uh, part of the cost? Um, and to put that into context, that's done three times the mileage almost of the S Max, and that's just a little Fiat Punto cat hatchback. Um, yeah, that's quite insane, really. Now, if we are going to be looking at five hundred pound cars, we could at least. Um, I think I should go to my good old friend Ford. Fiesta. We're going straight to Fiesta. Mondeo, yeah. Oh, yes. Ooh la la. Beautiful cars. No, they're not. Um, I remember... Um, what replaced the S Max was a Mondeo, one of these versions of Mondeos. I remember that one. It was an estate. This was it wasn't a saloon. It was a fifty four edge, so it was basically like six months older than this, probably. Um, it was a really nice car. It was like a lazy kind of like wagon. Um, it was great. It was just not as good as it could have been. For um, the price, uh, but them things were expensive, really. What do you think to this Mondeo? Apart from all of the pictures are upside down. <laughs> nah, no, I ain't. I am interested in that for five hundred quid. Um, for your cash though, you can get some good cars like three hundred and ninety quid for this and for Mondeo. 2006, this is the LX5 door, so it's like a 1.8, it's 1.8, um, yeah, it's a great little car, um, for the cash, I think, not right, so we're basically saying a Honda Civic is the best car for buying if you want a budget, if you want an outright budget, wait, no, before we finish, where are you? Where are you, Yaris? Up to 500 quid. These are the best things. Now, in the early reviews of these uh, Mark 1 Yaris's, this is on 1999. And they said it was like a quirky, clever car. And it really is. It's kind of like an MPV kind of style. Like the... Um, second gen Yaris was. I am going to put up some pictures um, at some point on like a Yaris comparison. Uh, watch out for that. Um, these things are like, it's a one litre. It's got all of the stuff you need. It's got twin airbags. Nineteen ninety nine. Uh, yes, it's only got 67 BHP, but what do you mean? Um, yeah, you've got like a double glove box and it kind of does something clever it does like mpv mixed with like a city car mixed with like a kind of like sporty because like you know you name it like the um celica was around i don't know why i call it celica yeah celica these things were around like uh what's this one Oh, that's nice. No! How? These things are like the best value. <laughs> that was the best! Lol, let's end this video right now. Come on. Or, um, please comment RIP Celica in the, um, the uh, comments. Anyway, let's end this video. See you in the next video, guys. And please, let's just buy this Celica right now. Anyway, that's it for now.